The history of Mills is a fascinating journey that spans thousands of years and has played a crucial role in the development of human civilization. From grinding grains to sawing timber, water mills have been the silent partners in our journey towards modernity. Today, their legacy endures not only in the preserved relics, but also in the technology that continues to harness the might of water. The earliest form of milling machinery dates back to prehistoric times when humans used hand-held stones to grind grains, seeds, and other food items. This simple grinding process was essential for food preparation. Around 10,000 years ago, the quern stone, a hand-held milling tool consisting of two flat stones, became widely used. This innovation significantly improved the efficiency of grain grinding. To use a quern, the person would place grains or seeds on the concave surface of the lower stone, and then use the hand stone to grind them by moving it back and forth or in a circular motion. The weight and motion of the hand stone would crush and grind the grains, slowly turning them into flour or a coarse meal. Quern stones come in various shapes and sizes. Depending on the region and time period, there are two primary types, saddle quern and rotary quern. Quern stones were used by various cultures across the world. From ancient Egypt to indigenous peoples in North America, they are often found at archaeological sites, providing valuable insights into the dietary habits and technology of past civilizations. These stones played a crucial role in early human civilization by allowing people to process and refine their food sources. The first significant advancement in milling technology was the development of water-powered mills. Ancient civilizations, such as the Greeks and Romans, harnessed the power of flowing water to turn large millstones for grinding grain. These early mills were simple and relied on the kinetic energy of flowing water to turn a wheel, which, in turn, rotated grinding stones or performed other mechanical tasks. The Barbego Mills, located in southern France. The Barbego Mills are considered one of the earliest known examples of a complex industrial mill site. They consisted of 16 water wheels arranged into parallel rows, which were used to grind grain into flour. These mills were part of a Roman aqueduct system and were powered by the flow of water from a nearby spring. The site is estimated to have been operational in the second century AD. These ancient water-powered mills highlight the importance of water as a source of energy for various industrial and agricultural applications in antiquity. They also demonstrate the engineering prowess of ancient civilizations in harnessing natural resources to improve the efficiency of their processes. Windmills, initially developed in Persia modern-day Iran around the 7th century, marked another leap in milling technology. They were used for grinding grains and pumping water. Windmills later spread to Europe and became a common sight in many regions. In medieval Europe, water mills became more sophisticated they were used not only for grain milling, but also for various industrial purposes, like textile production, sawing wood, and hammering metal. These mills were vital to the economic development of medieval towns. During the Middle Ages in Europe, water-powered mills underwent significant development, water wheels became more efficient, and mills were constructed in various sizes to accommodate different tasks, the versatility of water power made it a valuable resource for various industries. There were different types of water wheels used in mills, including undershot, overshot, and breastshot wheels. The type of wheel used depended on factors such as the flow of the water source and the specific requirements of the milling process. Undershot wheels were driven by the flow of water underneath them, and they were suitable for high flow low head water sources. Overshot wheels had water flowing onto the wheel from above, harnessing the energy of falling water, making them more efficient. 
breast shot wheels received water at about wheel axle level, combining elements of both undershot and overshot wheels. Water-powered mills revolutionized many aspects of medieval society. They increased the efficiency of grain milling, reduced manual labor, and improved the quality of flour. This, in turn, contributed to better nutrition for the population. Additionally, water-powered mills led to the growth of settlements around water sources, as these mills required a consistent water supply. Water mills often became focal points of rural communities. They not only provided essential services like milling grain, but also served as meeting places, trading centers, and sources of employment for local populations. Water-powered mills played a significant role during the Industrial Revolution, which began in the late 18th century and continued into the 19th century. This period marked a profound transformation in industry, technology, and society. The Industrial Revolution saw the rapid expansion of the factory system where large-scale manufacturing took place. Water-powered mills were crucial in providing the necessary mechanical power to drive various machines and processes within these factories. The textile industry was one of the driving forces behind the Industrial Revolution. Water-powered cotton and woolen mills emerged in the late 18th century, particularly in regions with abundant water resources like the United Kingdom and New England in the United States. Water wheels provided the energy needed to operate spinning machines, looms, and other textile machinery, dramatically increasing production. Richard Arkwright, a key figure in the early Industrial Revolution, developed the water frame, a water-powered spinning frame that improved the efficiency of cotton thread production. Arkwright's inventions, along with water-powered mills, revolutionized the cotton industry. Water-powered mills were also instrumental in the iron and steel industry. Water wheels provided the energy needed to operate bellows for blast furnaces and to power rolling. Mills, which played a crucial role in the production of iron and steel products. While steam engines became increasingly common, during the Industrial Revolution, many flour mills continued to rely on water power, especially in regions with abundant water resources. These mills produced large quantities of flour efficiently and contributed to the growth of urban areas. Water-powered sawmills were crucial for processing timber. During the Industrial Revolution, they allowed for the efficient cutting of logs into lumber, which was in high demand for construction and industry. The presence of water-powered mills often led to the growth of towns and cities around water sources. These mills served as economic centers and provided employment opportunities, contributing to the urbanization of previously rural areas. During this period, water wheels underwent innovations to improve their efficiency and reliability, such as the development of iron water wheels, gearing systems, and automation. While steam engines eventually surpass water power, in terms of efficiency and flexibility, Water-powered mills played a critical role in the early stages of the Industrial Revolution. They were instrumental in boosting production and transforming traditional industries into large-scale manufacturing processes, setting the stage for the industrialization of society. In the 19th and 20th centuries, mills continued to evolve. Roller mills and steel rollers replaced traditional millstones, improving the precision of grain milling Modern mills are highly automated and can process large quantities of grain with minimal human intervention. With the widespread availability of electricity, in the 20th century, electric mills became common, further increasing efficiency and reducing the reliance on water or wind power. In recent decades, mills have become highly automated and computerized, advanced machinery, sensors, and computer control systems have improved efficiency, quality, and safety in milling operations. Today, 
Mills are not only used for food production, but also for various industrial processes, including paper making, manufacturing, and energy generation. The history of mills reflects the continuous innovation and adaptation of technology to meet the needs of society. From basic food processing to the complex industrial processes of the modern world,